guys. So I had the worst day ever. I was traveling with a train. I don't know if, what is the fuck this is. Like the French dispatch or whatever. So I'm in a McDonald's. Obviously I'm dying from hunger. <laughs> look like, I look like a shit. So they take no cash here in Quebec. And uh, I'm trying to like pay for my food to take it to my hotel and then there's two guys that talk to me and tell me that I have to pay at the counter and they pick up a weird paper and give it to me and say oh, okay this is your number and when I go to the counter they're like oh no this is not your number of my first experiences in Quebec. <laughs> so much to my bitchy parents that put me in this position with money, career. You're the worst parents ever and you should be locked up just like, you know, just like uh, the government of UK did to you. You should totally be locked up. Ruining my career. Everything about me. Leaving me on the streets. 3 a.m. McDonald's. Kind of looks cuter than Toronto, though. It's like a weird place, though. Apparently, everybody's obsessed with me. Oh, there's a hookah place here. Interesting. Okay, so it's like 3 a.m. My parents left me in the middle of nowhere without a car. Fuck Taliban! Okay, so it's like 3 a.m. My parents left me in the middle of nowhere without a car. Fuck Taliban! My confidence is high though. I feel like it's so funny. Somebody just asked me like, "Excuse me, where's McDonald's? McDonald's? <laughs> right there, McDonald. Go get it." Eating a burger never felt better. Never ever. the last time eating a burger was fun was like Dubai 2012 I think this might be a McDonald's commercial or something anyways sleep well bonjour take your fucking medication and do not call people that take their medication drug dealers in their face. Drug dealer is somebody that sells the drugs and we all know what kind of drugs we're talking about. Now medication, obviously. So take your medication if you need to sleep. And don't always smoke weed like crazy people. Yeah, so I know this might sound really weird. But I'm really upset. And uh not okay, nothing is okay. Like, I'm okay, I'm cute, that's obvious, but other than that, nothing is cool, nothing is okay, and I'm ready to snap. I'm not gonna lie, I can say Anna is by far the most attractive woman that I have ever spoke to in my entire life. I'm not going to lie, Anna is by far the most attractive woman that I have ever spoken to in my life, and she absolutely deserves a Ferrari and all sorts of Lamborghinis. To lie, Anna is by far the most attractive woman that I have ever spoke to in my entire life. I am not going to lie, Anna is by four, by four, <laughs> by far the most attractive woman that I have ever spoken to in my entire life. I'm going to lie, Anna is by far the most attractive woman that I've ever spoken in my entire life. I'm not going to lie. I don't like lying. So, I think just uh, as an architect, because I studied like architecture for so long, I really think the buildings here are more pretty than Toronto like nothing against Toronto it's just uh, 
I just feel everything is just so glamorous here. <laughs> I don't know, or maybe I'm just not right. I don't know about you guys, but what I know about myself is that I would love if somebody just came and gave me a couple million dollars. Like, if they want to give me a billion in Canada, that's fine. I would definitely accept it. But like, a couple million, they, if you just say come and give it to me, I would love it love it like love it like love it so bad there just because their french women look better because they were always drinky french wine doesn't mean that you can attack me and tell me that my me and my friends in toronto are illegal i mean toronto is kind of cute actually and you never know what's going to happen with climate change in a couple of years and new york is it's kind of like a really creepy city i mean if you're not that rich and if you're not famous like which is like Rihanna, it's like, it's actually not cool for the other people. And like, there are some French guys that try to spit in my face and say that Instagram is just like a sex page, and it's not true. Because Instagram is not just a sex page, it's about connecting with each other. And it's illegal to spit in somebody's face, so I told them to go fuck themselves. So does fighting. So does stressing out. I'm glad that nobody's smoking here. It's empty. Somebody just gave me a lighter. They just rewarded me. There's the police. <laughs> this is a stumble, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm so sad because you smoked a cigarette. And you said you're not going to smoke. You said that you're not going to smoke. And you just smoked. And it's sad. Oh, apple. Hmm. Everything is a coincidence there, huh? City of coincidence. I'm going to make a movie about this place. <laughs> not taking lives, obviously. <laughs> or maybe taking lives. Depends on Angelina. But um, I'm not feeling very well because I haven't ate for 24 hours. The last meal that I had was a McDonald's shitty burger. I would say Jim Carroll is the worst celebrity ever. He cannot just... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this model is so beautiful, just like me. Everybody's like talking about New York and New York laws. First of all, you can't let me go to New York. You treated me like that. And even if I go there, you can just not stalk me around and tell me how New York is. I'll tell you how I am. And then you can uh, create everything around me. Simple. You just forget how hot you are because other people put their pressure on you. And I am not Jim Carroll, that's for sure. So fuck Jim Carroll at this point. I don't know, really sexy bank. Holy shit. <laughs> People look really good here. It's kind of weird. You, you guys in Toronto look really bad, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, just uh, trying to get a penthouse, and it's like $10,000. So that's the only place that I want to live in a penthouse for my acting because uh, I want to win an Oscar or create an Oscar in where I am, wherever I am. So I'm in a really sexy bank. Holy shit. <laughs> People look really good here. It's kind of weird. You, you guys in Toronto look really bad, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, just uh, trying to get a penthouse and it's like $10,000. So that's the only place that I want to live in a penthouse for my acting because uh, I want to win an Oscar or create an Oscar in where I am, wherever I am. So. And they're just telling me that I'm not an actor, but I am an actor. An actor is just, they don't even know anything about acting. That's the point. Nor do they care. They just want to see some white person blob on TV, that's it. No diversity, 
that's the thing. It's just like really funny. Somebody else asked me like, "What's your boyfriend do?" And I was like, "He was a porn star, and now he's a hey priest." Guys. I'm not gonna lie, this shit is too funny, but I really had to take the snap. Um, everything's really funny. Everybody was smoking, and I just got high. I didn't smoke, but I'm high right now because everybody else was smoking. And I am man standing on a stand because this is how I feel, literally. And uh, yeah, I just told you a little bit about my day. I didn't sleep at all. I slept like three hours, and um, I'm really excited to get some sleep. Just so excited. I really hope that the police gives us the right to sleep. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just waiting for food in a hotel. There's no food. What kind of hotel is that? <laughs> you can never have them all, can you? How is it in the US? Probably it's not like this. I don't know why people gave me their number but not their money. Like, I'm just so sick of that game. Oh, I'm rich. Oh, I'm rich. Oh, you can just stay in my rich house. You know, I'm just so sick of that. Honestly, it's, it's definitely like, Sleeping under a bridge is definitely the worst thing ever. But, just saying, I want a billion dollars for me. And I'm tired of crying for it. Go fucking print it out for me. Bachelor in Masculine. Come to the island, Leonardo. This is what happens when uh, you don't have any clothes to wear and your boyfriend is in Hawaii with a little bitch that fucked everybody. You're just a big guy. Hailey. Man, I'm a zoom in a Montreal. I'm a little bit of Bachelor in Masculine. Come to the island, Leonardo. We're getting Masculine. You Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Awakening. You need to realize that you're not a new on the right This guy is like, I was watching you know, porn every day. I'm telling you you're a good person, you're on the right path, but I'm here to tell you you're not. I was doing for it every day. Still gonna do it. So fuck your oh you This guy is like I was watching you know, for it every day. I was doing for it every day. Still gonna do it. So fuck you know, yourself. 